Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. Indeed, I am very happy to reach out an instrumentation engineer who is watching this video right in front of me. I am going to share whatever I searched for when I was trying to find a job. The knowledge that I am going to share with you is purely out of my own experiences in the field of instrumentation. So let's kick start to learn instrumentation. The very first concept that I am going to share with you is level measurement in a closed tank using differential pressure transmitter. This is a very commonly used method to measure the level in a closed tank. I have divided this into four parts. Part 1 flushing of the tank itself and the differential pressure transmitter installed with the tank using stainless steel tube. Part 2 will be position zero adjustment which is very important for the level measurement. Part 3 and 4 will be calibration in which I am going to discuss a very important calculations. The first calculation is dry leg calculation which will be discussed in part 3. The second one, wet leg calculation, which will be discussed in part 4. So, let's start. Let us consider that the tank is already installed and the differential pressure transmitter is also installed and connected with the tank using stainless steel tube. Let us see the abbreviation and its functions that I shown here. This is input valve which is used to fill the water into the tank. This is drain valve which is used to drain the water from the tank. This is low pressure valve which supplies process into low pressure side of differential pressure transmitter. This is high pressure valve which supplies process into high pressure side of differential pressure transmitter. This is needle valve 1 which drains the process from SS tube of high pressure. This is needle valve 2 which drains the process from SS tube of low pressure. Black valve 1, black valve 2 and equalizer valve are three valves of three-way manifold. Differential pressure transmitter itself has two vent valves which are vent valve 1 and vent valve 2. Now let us make sure that all the valves are closed. Now let us open the inlet valve and fill the tank fully. Close the input valve and open drain valve and drain the full tank to empty. Once it is done, let us open the input valve again and fill the tank with water. Now we see that the tank is getting filled. Once the water reaches above the provision of low pressure valve, let us close the input valve. Let us open low pressure and high pressure valves and let the water to reach the manifold. Open needle valve 2 and drain the water of low pressure tube. Once the water goes below the provision of low pressure valve, drain will stop through needle valve 2. Let us open the needle valve 1 and drain the water of high pressure tube. In order to make the drain fast, let us open the drain valve of the tank and close it once water reaches near to the high pressure valve. Once the water goes below the provision of high pressure valve, drain will stop. Now let us close the needle valve 1. Finally, the tank will be left with water 
exactly at the provision of high pressure valve thank you friends hope you like this video please take few minutes to share with your friends which means a lot to me please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification for the upcoming videos